Yes, I'm going to uh, take, uh, take you down to the, uh, what I call the duck pond here in the central west end. Right now I'm in the uh, entrance to the St. Regis apartments, so we're going to take a walk. Yeah, the duck pond is about, oh, I would say several hundred yards away. Um, maybe, uh, maybe about four football fields away from here in the central west side. And you can see behind me, this is what the St. Regis looks like. And uh, the way we're walking is uh, past the uh, Chase Park Plaza Hotel where the uh, movie theater is located. And uh, so we're going to spend, it's about a 63 degree afternoon today, as you probably can hear. And uh, we'll point this towards where I'm walking here. This is the 100 Kings Highway building. Up at the corner, they have a, a sort of a Explore St. Louis digital display that I'll activate, show you what that looks like. They have these in different spots around, around the city. And uh, you can just touch it, and then you can say uh, shop, photo booth. I'll do the photo booth here. And uh, so it takes a photo. Go ahead and tell it to take one here. Smile. And it's going to take the picture in five seconds. I'll get over here in the sun so you can see it do the job. There it goes. That's the Chase Park up there. Those are private residences up there. This is probably the most dangerous part of the journey. waiting to turn. <laughs> now I could walk on the path, but uh, I find it more interesting and a little bit safer actually to walk um, through the grass area uh, because there's bikes and runners and on the pavements and so I, and you get exposed to some of the creatures that are uh, available for your purview. And uh, this is an interesting statue here, too, that I wanted to show you. So I'm going to get up closer to it. As a former mayor of the city, I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit. Uh, he uh, was a member of the uh, Union Army, but after the war, he was a bit racist. There's some racist statements that he he made, and so I wonder when those are discovered, whether this statue will come down here in St. Louis. I'll walk over this way a little bit. And then I can zoom in on the, the text here behind this. 
document so you can read about it. There's a raise to uh, commemorate the individual free soil leader of the West and uh, Harold. You can read it yourself there. I'll just come down. And so on. A lot of these statues here in Forest Park, different figures. <clears throat> so now, uh, one of the things I've noticed as I walk through the the Forest Park area is uh, they cut down the trees when they get disease, so the limbs don't drop on uh, people walking through, I suppose. And um, there's also a, a tree. Trees uh, have been planted in memory of people. And uh, there's another tree over here that has got a monument on it, I'll show you. I think also, well, there goes a little bird. <laughs> and uh, so I'll walk over there to that monument there. I should remember, I've seen this a number of times or I've forgotten. There it is. Okay, so the, uh, the tree is dedicated to the honor, Honorable Henry W. Keel, mayor of the St. Louis, of St. Louis from 1916 to 1925 by the Women's Chamber of Commerce. And this is the tree here. I don't know when it was dedicated, but it was dedicated in, in 1925. That'd be pretty old. It's right now 2023. All right, so we'll keep on walking over toward the what I call the duck or geese pond. I think it has a different name. I, when a friend of mine said it was called, I think Sullivan Lake or something like that, maybe. I'll have to look it up and make sure I know. But Forest Park is, from what I understand, one of the largest, if not the largest, city park in the United States of America. And I don't know about internationally, but it houses a, or hosts a zoo, an art museum, history museum, a golf course, tennis courts, handbell courts, um, all sorts of um, well, there's a bird cage, a huge bird cage there, um, a pavilion where you can have gigantic picnics, all kinds of uh, picnic tables and such like that. So once again, I'm, I'm walking through the grass. I could walk over on the sidewalk for a while, but like I say, I think when you're exploring a park, you miss a lot if you stay on the beaten paths and there's no get off the grass signs, so... There's nothing wrong with doing it. Like I see, here's a couple more trees that were felled. You see the bark. Someone said you could count the rings on these and uh, be able to tell how old it is. I counted the rings on one of these, I think this one, and it was about uh, 30 years old. 30 rings. I, I'm not sure how accurate that is. I'll have to look that up, Google it or something. I used to walk out here with my little dog, Amelie, and uh, I'd uh, put her on the ground, take the leash off her, and she'd follow me. And uh, she enjoyed going out to the duck pound and seeing the geese. But one time she ran after the geese, there was a bunch of them, and I'm thinking she could scare them or <laughs> catch one of them maybe. <laughs> Amelie was only about 10 pounds. And uh, they turned on her and chased her back toward me, and she wanted me to pick her up, which I did, and then the geese all scattered. But the little creature got me in trouble a couple times. When I had her on a leash, she went after an Alaskan husky dog one time. I pulled her back, but that husky, who was on a leash also, came after me now because I was picking Amelie up to keep her safe, you know. Okay. 
So what kind of creatures have I seen here? Uh, all kinds of birds. Uh, marble war warbler. Not Well, not here in the park. I saw him over on a sidewalk. But uh, robins and cardinals, all kinds of sparrows and such. Now we're getting up here closer now to the pond. And I'm hoping that we've got some geese or ducks out here today. In the warmer weather, this is February, a uh, nice warm day in February in 63, but uh, as it gets warmer, the turtles come up to the top. Big, uh, big turtles surface and they climb up on the logs that are laying out there in the pond. So I'm just going to do a walk around, circle the pond here. You see somebody sitting on the bench over there. And each of these benches has got a dedication name on it. Oh yeah, there are some geese out there right now. Let me go ahead and zoom in on some of these. Yeah, there's some geese. Maybe some ducks too. Way out there. Yeah, we'll see them closer when we get up there. You hear the leaves. Usually, we'll, after a, a while, we'll come around and get all these leaves with some kind of leaf collectors. But right now, they're just laying all over and uh, good fertilizer, I guess. Yeah, here they are. Now we're getting over closer. And uh, let's kind of zoom in on these. See what we got here. Yeah, can Canada geese. Yeah, and a bunch of them here. Some way down there too. A whole bunch of them. One time on. I got over real close to one that was on land and they all took off. Um, I guess there, there's a couple of them that are kind of leaders of the the pack or what would you say the, I don't call that a pack when you have geese. What do you call that? I forgot. Anyway, I guess they, they get something to eat here. But I'm not sure what. But uh, go up here a little bit, see this um, bench that they've got. There should be a dedication thing on it. Yeah, here it is. Let's see who this is dedicated to. We'll zoom in on that. Todd H. Epstein, may his memory be a blessing. So you can Google his name probably. And, and I don't know, maybe they have like a listing of all these um, dedicated benches and about the people that they're dedicated to. I guess you donate something and you get somebody's name on a bench. Well, wow, there's quite a few of them out there right now. Getting a little bit closer. Yeah, they're all, some are looking at me now over here. And as I'm doing this, I'll show you um, this, uh, these uh, roots that are coming up. Those are from a, from a tree uh, that is uh, here, this tree here. And uh, so I don't know why these trees s uh, send down roots and then they, they send up these shoots. I'll have to look up why they, why they do that. But these are all the roots of this particular tree that have been sent up. Maybe a couple other trees nearby, too. Uh, what do they call those kind of trees? I forgot. I have to look that up, too. 
Well, if you keep making a 360 here around the, the goose or duck pond, you can see the water that keeps on feeding this. And I, I suppose that this water runs out of this pond somewhere else uh, through the park, but I don't know. But this is what keeps it filled up. Sometimes they turn that off, but uh, it, uh, in the winter it freezes over. You can see the ice, it turns into like ice. Well, here I'm getting in really close to these two here. Let's take a close up look at them. Look how they swim, they, they do that neck back and forth. You can see his legs back there, I think. Paddling away. And he's looking at me now, wondering what I'm doing. Uh, so, my little stones along here for the path. And, uh... There's the pathway we'll go through here. You notice we got some flowers up. Now, if I was a flower expert, I could tell you what kind they are, but here it is in February, February 19th in St. Louis, and we got this uh, this kind of flower, floral coming up already. And uh, of course, we could have some freezing. They're predicting maybe a winter storm coming up here this next week, so. I don't know how these flowers will survive it, but that's what happens when you have a, a uh, early spring, I guess, terminates into late winter. Oh yeah, then they're, they put these uh, bird houses up here in Forest Park. I, I've always wanted to come up close and see if there were any birds in them, and I, I don't know, the, I think they're too close to the ground, so I don't think there's any birds inside there. You kind of look in there. I don't think so. I don't think there's any birds in there. But it's pretty short. I, if I was a bird, I would hesitate to build my nest in there, that's for sure. Maybe in the spring, though, there might be some that come along. Now you can see, I don't know how many there are there. I could start counting them. Uh, maybe on the video I'll count them, but. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, I'm tired of counting already. <laughs> but you can see the see them all here. That one there looks like he's sleeping. Yeah, he's got his head tucked back on his wings and he's just floating around like a floater. There he is. Yeah, you can see his head just tucked on, tucked under a wing there. And there a couple of them look like they're about ready to go to sleep. Oh, here's another bench here. Let's see who this one's dedicated to here. This is, uh, says, enjoy your park. We did Jean and Mark Marion Taylor. So a couple of visitors to the park, and they decided to dedicate a bench for us to sit on. That's pretty good. Now you notice these ones that are over real close to the side of the um, pond. I'm gonna go over there. Oh wait, here's, look, there's a robin or something. Is that a robin? Yeah, there's a robin there. He's eating something. There he goes. But I'm gonna walk over close to these geese and, and probably they're gonna take off. They're gonna think that I'm gonna come after them, see? Are you guys gonna fly and take off for the video or are you just gonna float away like that, huh? Yeah, they didn't want to. Now, if I had some popcorn or something, which I forgot to bring, and threw it in, they'll, they'll come over for that. Well, most of the time they will. So anyway, I'm gonna come back up here. Now this house here, um, it, you see, uh, belonged to one of my friends. Uh, it's a wonderful house. He lived in it as a child all the way up to adulthood. And um, now it's been sold, but he had this wonderful view of uh, this pond here. Spent a lot of time over here. Still took, comes over. And sometimes we'll come over and we'll take photos together. Well, I guess they're not going to take off today. I was hoping you guys would take off and, you know, fly somewhere for me, you know? Not going to do it, huh? There's something there. I wonder what that is. Let me zoom in on that. Or something sticking 
Yeah, I thought maybe there's something dead. Okay, so here we're coming back to the uh, St. Regis Apartments. It was built in 1909, about five years after the World's Fair. I probably started construction right around the time the fair was coming to a close in December of 1904. But uh, houses 48 apartments. It is called a um, cooperative, so everyone owns their own apartment, um, but they also together own the building and then have a committee of their own members who they elect to manage the building for them, um, taking care of budgets and repairs and such things as that. So this building was here in 1909. And I don't know if this building was here. I don't think so. And I think there were houses across the street here, from what I've seen. This is Lindell Boulevard in the central west end of St. Louis. Okay, so I'm in the elevator at the St. Regis now, and I'm going to uh, walk up one flight of stairs from the eighth floor and go out on the roof. And, uh, Show you a little bit of the landscape around St. Louis here. So this stairwell goes all the way to the basement, up to eighth floor, and then out on the roof here. Open the door up. There we go. So you can see a swimming pool not engaged yet, February. But you can see the skyline and the 100 North King Highway building. Zoom in on some of the buildings over in Clayton. And then we face this way, we can see downtown St. Louis from here. I'll walk along the roof here. Jewish hospital over there. Another high rise apartment building. Come over this way. And you can see the St. Louis Arch from here. We'll zoom in on that a little bit. Background there is a civil courts building. It's got an Egyptian uh, monument on top of it. And uh, walk over this way a little bit. More apartment buildings. Oh, yeah, there is the St. Louis Cathedral. I can zoom in on that. That's the cathedral, part of it anyway. And each of the uh, buildings has this kind of a hollow area. It goes all the way down to the uh, basement. I'm not sure what that was constructed for, except the sewage and everything goes down that way. Some of the building, some of the apartments had uh, actually log breathing or coal breathing, coal, coal burning fireplaces. The stacks were up here. All right, so I'm gonna go back down.